Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Minecraft Gameplay. I'm busily looking at my windows here instead of at the camera. Um, so where last we left off, I had uh, finished the construction of the monster spawner grinder edifice that you can see up above me there. And it works, as you can see. So now I'm going to... Uh, start punching some monsters. The, the sword is obviously more effective in that you can uh, hit strike a group of monsters at the same time, but there's not really any reason to, except when you have spiders, there's not really any reason to use the sword except when you have spiders because um, they don't necessarily fall. When they do, they seem to die. So here you can see the uh, the loot that has been generated here. Uh, quite substantial actually. Now these bows are not something that uh, I'm ever going to use. Um, i got to be a little careful here I guess, but I'm just going to start chucking them out. Not to, uh, but I want to be careful not to not to uh, chuck out the good bow that I do have. Now suppose if I were to make an effort to group my own inventory, I could uh, do a little better with that, but anyway, it's not really necessary, it just takes slightly longer. I guess I'm also highly unlikely to use any of this non-enchanted leather armor. <clears throat> And the, the enchanted armor is uh, the leather anyway is something that I'm highly unlikely to use. The gold, be that being said, the gold, um, you know, it costs however many gold to uh, to uh, build a suit of armor. Lots. Plenty. Plenty of gold. Um, and so that is something that I will probably fix up or just use as it's in pretty good shape. Got a little bit of iron, potato, redstone, that's from a witch, carrots, so the, these things other than the redstone are from zombies. Uh, I believe the witch drops, the witches drop sticks, and of course the witch dropped the potion as well. Just maybe take that, and a whole bunch of uh, other useful things. Now that it's becoming night, oh, maybe I'll just do some murdering here real quick. Before I run away, lose the experience probably. I'll beat them to death with potatoes. So it's obviously working quite well. Now, there are periods where it doesn't seem to do that much, um, and I'm not sure why that is. If maybe they're just all wandering around up there, or maybe they're being generated down below. Oh, here comes the rain again. Now, I guess it's not quite nighttime. You can see the moon much earlier because you're so, being so high up in the sky, you can sort of see over the, <laughs> the edge of the world in a sense. In, the, in, the, in that, that sense being that I have set the render distance lower down here. Alrighty, so that should also take care of the rain. As I mentioned, the uh, in a previous episode, the gunpowder generation is probably, and that and the arrows, it's probably the most useful thing that a person gets out of the uh, monster spawner like that. And then even the arrows, I mean, you'll reach a point fairly quickly. Oh, I actually meant to uh, be carrying arrows now that I have a pretty good bow. Uh, food, why am I carrying all this food? Oh, I had done some harvesting and uh, was planning to maybe go do some trading. Protection, protect. Too bad that armor's leather. It's actually not too bad. Not too bad from an enchantment point of view. Golden. Ooh, 
What else? Arrows. Oh, spider eyes. I made some weird comment about the, the spawner not generating spiders or something in one or two episodes ago, and I I was reflecting on that, and whatever I said didn't even make sense. So, disregard, I guess. It does generate spiders. Um, if they fall the whole distance, they seem to perish. Sometimes. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they, maybe the spiders jump off diagonally? I don't know. But there are also, because spiders can climb walls, and they're basically a two-by-two two monster, I feel like they sometimes can climb down. Yeah, monsters don't seem to last if you run out of the range. The other thing that was happening down there on that high part that I'm sort of circling with my cursor as well on, as well as on the sides. Um, I noticed that at night there were monsters spawning down there, so obviously I'm not high enough up, and I think that's maybe because the ground level there is whatever it is, six or seven blocks higher. So had I gone another ten or twelve blocks up in the up up into the sky when I was building the thing, that probably would have prevented that. But what I did is I ran around. I ran around and lit up the area. You can sort of see, sort of see all the yellow dots. Uh, some of them are flowers, but most of them are torches. And so at night that area is lit and monsters don't spawn there. So as you can see from my experience level here, it is certainly effective for that purpose. Now, the, the higher your level is, the more experience it takes to gain levels. So. I am inclined to go use some of that experience, or a lot of it, and um, and then uh, come back and do some more monster slaughtering. Oh, there's a witch. I hear them drinking a potion. That's the other reason to use a sword, is when witches come down, because they they will heal themselves. So punching them isn't very effective. Did the witch give us an... Oh yes, the witch gave us some glowstone dust. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, witch. Just going to check out this other stuff that I have no use for. so much rotten flesh that you can make use of, and I think I'm pretty much there. Uh, anything else to toss? Don't think so. Oh, I didn't put my potion on. No. So, I am quite pleased that it's working very well. It's, that will allow me, with the experience available, Having that source of experience available will allow me to um, do enchanting and things, which I wouldn't otherwise be able to do uh, without running around and you know finding ways to gain experience. Like that are a lot slower, you know, hunting monsters at night and uh, or going down in the caverns or whatever. <clears throat> so, let's go have a look. Put this stuff away. <clears throat> I'll reach a point where, unless I want to have a project like building a, a building, building a, some kind of structure out of bone, uh, where I won't really have any use for the majority of the things that are produced from, the, from killing the monsters that come down the spawner there. But, um, I mean, I'm probably already there, to be honest. I guess I could convert this all to bone meal, and then maybe to bone blocks, even. Which would be the natural thing to do, to, to store it more effectively, anyway. Weapons and armor, put my arrows up there, put the spider eye and the string, gunpowder, with the gunpowder, I'm hoping to run an experiment with mining by TNT. <laughs> I don't really know how well that'll work. I have found very, <coughs> excuse me, 
<clears throat> I have found very few diamonds in digging around at the bottom of the world. Much fewer than I than I would have expected. Um, and I'm not quite sure why that is. So, um, it occurred to me that it might work to sort of build TNT blocks. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the right term. TNT, TNT anyway. Dynamite. The game calls it TNT, though. And, um, and see if you can uncover bigger areas that way. And I'm not actually sure if that will work in the sense that the diamond might be destroyed. Um, but it's worth finding out. Oh, I was kind of hoping that you could do something with the bone blocks and the stone cutter. Can you do something else? Bone. I was thinking maybe you could get some kind of decorative bone block, but I guess not. Whoops. Anyway, you can build things out of bone. Just like wood, it kind of runs two ways. If you're looking to store bones and bone meal, I guess you can't store bones, but bone meal, that is the most compact form of, of storage. <clears throat> How am I doing for fuel here? I'm going to... Where's my wood? Oh, not bad. Uh, let's see, I don't actually have any boards spruce boards on hand. I'll probably chop down one of those trees because, not because I have any real need for the wood, but I just like to have lots of fuel around in, in case I'm ever doing a big, bigger project. Po I guess I have a potion here I can put away, which is uh, healing, instant health. So that's a short duration one, I think. Oh no, wait a minute, duration has nothing to do with it. If you can intensify the effect of the healing potions, probably. I see it's almost night time again. I haven't had a look in on the mushroom farm. I've got some glowberries there, I see. So in between this episode and the previous one, I, um, I ran around down at the bottom of this shaft, down in the, uh, in, well, what I've been calling the bottom of the world, and uh, dug up a whole bunch of um, deep slate cobble and uh, turned it into, well, deep slate cobble. I didn't turn it into anything, actually. Okay, well, as you can see, the mushroom farm is working. I'm growing two of each. Not too bad. I'll take my light. Take my light, harvest my little bit of mushrooms, and away we go. I think I mentioned there is a there's a much more efficient way of growing mushrooms, especially when you have access to uh, lots of bone meal. As I now do, basically you can grow giant mushrooms, which uh, I may or may not bother with. They're kind of nice looking. I suppose they complement my, my nether mushrooms. Oh, and then there's these guys, which I haven't harvested for ages. Are they all grown? Looks like they might be. Looks like it to me. Are they three? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to assume they're all grown up and uh, run around on the old <clears throat> slow motion inducing soul sand and plant them all over again. Now I've probably got enough of these now that I don't need to do too much harvesting of those either. Although, that being said, you can, in fact, turn these into blocks as well, which... Uh, is it four? Or is it nine? It must be nine. It's nine. So you can turn those into nether wart blocks, and I guess you're, you're stuck with them. I don't know if those can be used as fuel. That's an interesting question. Uh, should I answer that question right now? Maybe I will try to answer that question right now. And the answer is no. Oh 
three, so I don't think there's anything to do with nether wart blocks other than other than uh, making oh, you can make red nether bricks. I don't think I've ever done that. Interesting. Anywho, I don't think you can really do anything else with them. No, nope, can't cut them either. All right, so I guess their only real use is a is as a red colored block for building things. Anyway, I've got all kinds of uh, I've got a real good supply of nether wart, so that's not going to be something I'm going to concern myself with. So I can make potions galore, which I should probably spend a bit of time doing especially the water breathing stuff, then I can mess around underwater. Um, beets, 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 potatoes. Should go do some trading. We got anything else? Nope. All right. So this is exciting. Let's maybe do some enchanting, see if we can't come up with some good, good enchantments. I have enchanted this diamond pickaxe reasonably well. Um, I forget what I tried to add to it and it wouldn't go. It would be real nice to pick up some mending spell books and I, I have no idea if you can actually make those on an enchanting table. It would be nice if you can, I just don't know if that's true. Um, I have a whole bunch of books and lapis over there. Actually maybe I'll take some more lapis. I think that's the main thing that gets consumed when you enchant things. And I don't have enough diamond to make anything. Well, I guess I could make a helmet, or I can make a helmet and boots. And that would consume all the diamond I have, so maybe I should do that. Anyway, the diamond pickaxe is nice. I'll need to remember to take that down next time I'm doing some mining. It's got uh, a looting. Looting? Oh, that might not be the right enchantment. Darn it. Sorry. Oh no, fortune. Yeah, that's right. So if you do find minerals, then you should be able to get more than one block of mineral, which is quite nice. Alrighty, let's see what we can come up with here. Smite, Bane of Arthropods, and Protection. Well, I guess I don't... I'm not sure what I've got for Smite. I might have one of those already. So that used up three-ish enchantment experience levels, I should say. Sweeping Edge, Smite, Smite, and Unbreaking. Sweeping Edge also, I think, is a decent one for a weapon, for a sword. It might only be swords that you can apply. Oh, Feather Falling. Nice, and that's a level three. How am I doing? 36. Efficiency 2, Piercing, Bane of Arthropods. That's a very specific enchantment that I don't feel like has that much value. If you're going hunting spiders, I guess, that's about the only, that's the only, that's the only use of it. So, as you can see, you consume Lapis. Well, I guess you consume Lapis and experience. Yeah, oh, sorry, it says right there. One enchantment level, two enchantment levels, three enchantment levels. I believe that means experience levels, I think. Anyway. Uh, efficiency 2, that's not bad. I can apply that to something. Ooh, efficiency 3. Oh, and projectile protection. Efficiency 3 is quite nice. I wonder if I could get my pickaxe up to efficiency 5 that way. Smite 3, really? I feel like I have enough smite. Um, How am I doing? 29. I'm running out of lapis here, although there's more in the chest. Blast protection. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one for armor. You want some blast protection, you want some projectile protection, and I think it's called fire protection? I'm not sure. There's impaling. I'm not sure. What, I mean, that sounds like a weapon one. Power, that's for bows, I believe, and protection, protection. All right, and then 
pain of earth, the cool respiration. Respiration, that's the, uh, that's the breathing underwater one, or is it the breathing? It's, it has to do with being underwater, for sure. How am I doing? 21, so I'm only going to be able to do maybe one more, one or two more. Projectile protection, three, that's nice. Do I have that already? Okay, now I only if only I had some armor. <laughs> Power punch and knockback. Punch I think is also for bows. What does my bow have? Doesn't have punch. Power two. Punch one. Okay, we'll take punch. I'll try to apply it to my bow right away. Okay, there we go. I can't. Okay, efficiency is good for tools. And I think that's going to do it. So you do burn through the lapis pretty quick as well. Uh, punch and efficiency. Okay. And how much time did that take? Oh, only a few minutes. So I'm going to try to apply punch to my bow. Aw, oh, darn it. Did I do it the wrong way around? Oh, there, I did do it the wrong way around. Nice. Okay, that's a pretty good bow now. The only other thing would be mending, but I... I haven't seen any sign that mending even comes up on the enchanting table, so. All right, so that takes me down to 11 in terms of experience. And I guess the other thing, I should maybe try and sort these a little bit. It's probably enough efficiency, sharpness, respiration. I need to get some, there's, okay, so fire protection is the other one. Protection, protection. That is quite the book. Unfortunately, the enchantments are all, all over the map, and they're kind of mutually exclusive. Piercing is for bows. Loyalty is for, I think, tridents, and Frostwalker is for boots. And that's a bit of a specialized case. That's not that important to me, to be honest. It lets you walk over oceans. It turns the it turns them in, it turns the water blocks into ice blocks. I'm not sure if they melt after after the fact, but for boots, there's a I think it's for boots. There's one that it's either for boots or helmets. There's one that lets you sort of move freely underwater and use your tools freely without any slowdown, which is quite nice. Yeah, okay, we've got enough efficiency. We're going to put power one. That's for a bow protection. We'll put the protections down here. That power might even not be useful. Projectile protect protection, feather falling. That's nice. Respiration, that's nice. Protection, just in general. Smite. To, where was my other smite? Blast protection. So I think I have all four types of protection. And sharpness one. Okay. If only I had some good weapons and armor to apply all this to and tools other than this one. Efficiency four. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to see if I could get that up to efficiency five. That would be nice. So what was the order here? Tool, and then book. Oh, we could. Oh, still efficiency four. Well, that's kind of dumb. So I could enchant it at 19 and have the exact same tool. Yeah, no, we won't do that. I'm, uh, I'm tempted to take this down and do some mining with it. Coming on night again. Can't even see. Can't even see. Hmm. In a bit. I don't understand why this uh, why this uh, twisted vine here, twisting vines, is not growing. It's quite odd. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock it back. Did I not get it? Really, no vines? 
Well, that's silly. I think this one's maxed out. If I'm not mistaken. What's my height? 80. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong spot. 82. Yeah, I don't think that's grown anymore since the last time I looked at it. So, uh, I think that one's maxed out. Really neat. I'd have to look. I think I have. I think I have lots of twisting binds. I should actually start carrying some of those in my inventory, especially if I'm exploring the Nether. It's quite useful for if you happen to be falling over something that you can plant a vine on. You can, if you time it right, you can plant it right before you hit the ground, and you'll it'll catch you. And I'm slouching way too much. As usual. Okay, monsters, you can come and generate any time. Sun is going down. I'm not sure if that haziness is kind of the equivalent of the horizon line up here. Probably. Yeah, there comes the moon, but it's not it's not nighttime yet, so yeah, I'm thinking that's sort of the horizon, so it's just about to be dark. Or start getting dark. So anyway, I came up here to just get a little experience before I start running around again. Which I guess isn't really that important. I can do that. I can do that on my own time. The other reason I wanted to come up here though was to have a look at the uh, the lit area down below as it starts to get dark. Get a lot of creepers in here. I, I would sort of expect to get more zombies, but I feel like it's more creepers than anything. There you go. That's what I wanted to look at. You can see how I lit up that whole, that whole area there. All right. Can I make it down to my base before the, before the creepers start spawning all over the place? Ah, yes. Another little project I have is to uh, light up my island, or at least the, the part here that's immediately. Okay. There's one zombie. Not bad. No creepers have popped in, so that, oh, there's some up there, but they're not that close to me. All right, sleepy time. Yeah, how are we doing here? 20, 27, 28 minutes. What I think I'll do is um, just see how this, uh, some burning skeletons. To see how this pickaxe does. <clears throat> Way down. You know what? Maybe I'll grab some more cobble, regular old cobblestone here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Did I run out of. for an axe down here, so whoop, goes through the, oh, I wasn't even counting, one, two, three, four, all right, that's, that's what I want, I think I was doing two earlier, oh no, I wasn't, yeah, three, 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 I believe I explained why that is before, because most of your ore veins, or ore deposits will will show up. It's almost instantaneous. It digs so fast. I wonder how it does on... Uh, you know what? My my ingrained key habits are such that it's gonna I'm gonna do better with it in that number one spot. So the combination of efficiency and unbreaking, I'd like to get that unbreaking level up higher. Because it's quite expensive to build a tool this this good. So 
the longer it lasts, the better you are. So really, we're not going to get any 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 iron or gold or anything. I think this is my gold mining level. Oh yes, I kind of forgot about this. Actually explored quite a few areas now, haven't I? Oh, there's a hole. There's a whole thing over there. Hmm, interesting. Let's maybe go over this way a bit. This obviously hasn't been explored very much. In fact, hardly at all. Interesting. Gonna need a bunch more torches if I'm gonna do any exploration. So let's see what happens with the fortune. That gave us two. two. Do better with a regular pickaxe, man. Or does that not work on? Regular or oh no, 50. <laughs> that feels like quite a bit. Okay. Anywho, that feels like quite oh, some redstone down there. Let's go. Let's go have that. I'd like to find some lapis. Redstone, that's not bad. Anything else back here? Iron, okay, good. I think I will. Six. Well, that's better than four. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. I don't really care to fight you right now. What else have we got out here? Copper. And lots to explore. Like, tons to explore. And I'm just about out of torches, which... Ooh, right. Right on. Oh, hello. Some more baddies out there. Okay, I think that is going to be enough of that. What I am interested in, and I forgot to check, I can do it right here, was how easily this pickaxe cuts through the dark slate. Pretty good, pretty good. Not as, not as fast as regular stone, but pretty fast. Oops, oh, uh -huh. all right, great, cool. And the tool didn't really take, oh, and there's even a glow squid over there, how about that? That seems quite weird to me. What are you doing back there? Like you're in the stone? How is that even working? There must be water directly behind that wall, which I guess makes a certain amount of sense. 
given that there's water up just over here. All right, well, very interesting. I think that is uh, pretty much going to do it for this episode. I'm, uh, I'm going to return up to the base, the main base. Oh, this is, oh, this is iron level. Why didn't I find any iron? That's so weird. I feel like the the amount of minerals are less somehow in this game. Alrighty, I still haven't made myself a clock. I see it's coming night again. What do I have to put away here? Some stone, some cobble. Raw iron, raw copper. Should really make myself a clock. Um, let's do that right now. Oh, what else do I need to mount it on the wall? I need, I need a frame. And do I have a glowstone sack to make it glow in the dark? Actually, you know what? That's not necessary because my room, my base here, is all lit up. So, make a frame. And we'll make a clock. And we will put the frame on the wall right about here, I think. With the frame, I should say, is what I said and what I meant. Uh, where do I want to put that? Maybe right there. Is it raining? Oh, it is raining. Why? Why you start raining? This is a very rainy location for some reason. Also want to make some dynamite. So in order to make dynamite, you require sand and you require gunpowder from uh, creepers or other places, but creepers is the only real good source. And um, so I've got quite a bit of sand here, and if this doesn't do me, I have, there's plenty over in the uh, village on the next island over, near the village on the next island over. Okay, that is pretty much nighttime now. Clock says, yep, clock says pretty much nighttime, so we shall lay down. And I think that's going to do it for me for, for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Went over a few things there. Potion, not potions. Enchanting, looking at how well the monster spawner grinder works. Checking out my super cool, powerful pickaxe. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.